Hi, I'm Cy Montgomery, and I'm the author of Brave Baby Hummingbird with glorious illustrations by Tiffany Bozick. I'm going to read it to you now. I am one of the lightest birds in the sky, yet I am also one of the fastest. I am tiny, but I can fly a very long way. I'm mostly made of air, like a bubble wrapped in feathers. Yet I am super strong. I'm only a little hummingbird, but I can do things no other bird can. My first year isn't easy. My older sister and I hatch two days apart from eggs as small as navy beans. We're born the size of bumblebees. We snuggle in a soft nest no bigger than a quarter. Every 20 minutes, we wait for the breeze. Food. We eat our fill many times a day. One day, there's no breeze at all. By nighttime, we're scared, cold, and hungry. But help comes in the morning. Soon, we are safe and warm. But we're still hungry. Ah, we feel the breeze again. We open our beaks. Food. Every 20 minutes of every day, the breeze returns. We open our eyes. We start growing feathers. One day, my older sister stands up tall in our nest and beats her wings. You're growing stronger every day, a voice says to us. I'm not a mother hummingbird, but I've spent 10 years learning how to help orphans like you. Soon you will learn to fly. Two days later, I try out my own wings. Fun. My sister learns a new skill, perching. I want to be just like her. Every few days, we move our quarters. My older sister's always ahead of me. In each new basket, we learn a new lesson, hopping from branch to branch, sipping nectar from flowers, flying, catching fruit flies. Finally, my sister moves to the Hummingbird Hotel. I watch while she practices one of the greatest feats of all bird kind. Beating wings so fast they are only a blur, she hovers in mid-air. Only hummingbirds can hover. While hovering, we hummingbirds can also fly forward and backward. We can even fly upside down. No other bird can do that. One day, the door to the hummingbird hotel swings open. You're a wild bird now, the voice says. My sister darts out and dives down a slope to a bay tree. Then she disappears. From inside the smaller flight cage on the patio, I search for my sister. I see plenty of other hummingbirds. They're sipping nectar from feeders, catching bugs in the compost pile, hovering while poking their long beaks into the many flowers in the yard. They spend as much time chasing one another away from the food as they do eating. But where is my sister? A flash of green zips by. That's her, says the voice. My sister heads for the corner feeder, flying faster than ever before. Another larger flash of green follows. A different hummingbird is chasing my sister away from the food. We watch the bigger bird hover while sipping the nectar. A flash of green shoots out of the tree. The big hummer leaves in a hurry. Welcome back, the voice says to my sister. You are brave. My sister hovers by the feeder, enjoying a drink. Soon I'll be flying free too. I'm excited. But then I remember being cold and hungry. I'm afraid. But when the door of the Hummingbird Hotel opens for me, like it did for my sister, I know just what to do. Our wings are strong. Our eyes are sharp. 
Because we are so small, because we are so light, we have powers no other birds have. I practice my hover, up and down, back and forth, even upside down. I drink from all the feeders in the backyard. I hunt for yummy bugs in the compost pile. I visit all the flowers. I especially like the red ones. Sometimes my sister and I hover near the voice just to say hello, but soon we're off again. And in two days time, we get the same idea. It's time to leave. Somehow, we know just where to go. We fly south over vast mountains. We fly just above the treetops. We fly low over water. We stop to catch bugs. We sip nectar from flowers we have never seen before. We sleep very deeply each night in the trees. Then we fly again. Finally, we arrive. We have never been to this place, but we know this is where we stop. It's warm and sunny. Flowers and bugs are everywhere. So are other hummingbirds, more kinds than we've ever seen before. Hummingbirds with blue heads, hummingbirds with purple throats, hummingbirds with golden tails. It's a good place to stay, but only for a while. In December, once again, I know just what to do. I leave first. I fly low, crossing over the water. I fly just above the treetops. I fly day after day over the vast mountains. For our size, we hummingbirds complete some of the longest flights of any bird in the sky. Now my grown-up feathers are brighter. My throat now bears a glittering patch of orange like a coppery fire. When the female hummingbirds arrive, I will impress them all. I will fly high and dive for a hundred feet, faster for my size than any other kind of bird on earth. I will hover in front of the female and fly side to side, flashing my beautiful throat. My sister arrives a few days after me. She will select a mate of her own, a handsome male whose bright orange throat catches her eye. Then, hidden in the leaves of a climbing vine, she will build a nest, just like the one we shared when we were little, small as a coin, lined with thistle down. In it, she will lay two eggs. My sister and I zip around the yard, sipping nectar, catching bugs. The voice sets out fresh nectar in feeders each morning. Sometimes, we hover near her face. Is that you, she asks. She may never know for sure, but we know, thanks to her, though we were once cold, alone, and frightened, though we are small and light and delicate, now we have grown to rule the sky. And here's a note from me to you. Dear reader, this is the story of two real baby hummingbirds I was privileged to meet. As you see in this book, hummingbirds have amazing powers, but they're also fragile creatures and only trained and licensed rehabilitators have the specialized know-how to care for them if they're injured or orphaned. This book is not meant to encourage people to try to care for hummingbirds that are hurt or abandoned, Leave that to the experts, but there's lots you can do to help them. Look in the back of the book and see how you can make your yard a safe haven for these beautiful but beleaguered little birds. Plant a pollinator garden. Learn what to do if you do find an injured bird and find out more about hummingbirds' amazing migrations, the organizations studying their lives, and the charities working to protect the hummingbirds and their habitats. Your friend, Sai. 
a few hummingbird highlights. The world is graced with more than 330 species of hummingbird. All of them live either in North, Central, or South America. Hummingbirds are the tiniest of birds. The very biggest one, called the Andean giant hummingbird, is not a giant at all. It's only eight inches long. The smallest is the bee hummingbird of Cuba, which is about two inches long and weighs less than a dime. It's the smallest bird in the whole world. Hummingbirds are the lightest birds in the sky. Like most birds, their bones are hollow, their feathers weigh more than their skeletons, their bodies are full of air sacs. There are nine of these air sacs inside the hummingbird in addition to their two hard-working lungs. Because they are slight and tiny, hummingbirds can do things other birds cannot. They are the speediest birds in the whole world. Everything they do is fast. While hummingbirds hover, their wings flap so quickly a person sees only a blur. Some species beat their wings 80 times every second. At rest, the average hummingbird breathes 250 times a minute, a minute during which a resting person breathes only 12 to 20 times. During the migration, their hearts can beat 1,260 times a minute, the highest heart rate of all species. The fastest bird on earth, if you account for body size, is the male Allen's hummingbird, the kind in this book. To impress a female, he plunges from the sky at 60 feet per second, faster per body length than the space shuttle screams down through the Earth's atmosphere. And little hummingbirds fly a long way. Allen's hummingbirds in this book migrate 2,200 miles from the San Francisco area to central Mexico. The Rufus hummingbird holds the record for the longest trip per body length of any bird. 3,900 miles from Alaska to Mexico. Thanks for reading this book along with me. I hope you enjoy Brave Baby Hummingbird and that you have fun and courageous journeys of your own.